this video we're going to be palpating extensor carpi ulnaris. So I'm just putting my hand underneath her elbow to lift it up, so make it a little easier for us to see. First thing I'm going to be identifying is one of its two origins on that lateral epicondyle via the common extensor tendon. So if I can have you just do this ulnar kind of motion, good. And we can start to feel that origin here. Now the second origin is on the ulna, but what you're going to be looking for is after Anconius. So Anconius is originating and attaching in the same location, but attaches to this proximal ulna in Olecranon. But the second origin for extensor carpi ulnaris is on the middle ulna past Anconius's insertion. So right in this region here, we're along that bony shaft and we're kind of rolling onto the extensor side. So if you can again do that ulnar deviation for me, perfect. So you can actually do a bit of a pincher grasp of extensor carpi ulnaris, especially over top of that ulnar attachment here. And then it's gonna turn more into a tendinous part. So if you can hold your hand up like so, it'll put some resistance against it, good. So I'm cross-fibering the tendon, cross-fibering the tendon. It's crossing the wrist right here, quite easy for us to feel. And its insertion is on the base of the fifth metacarpal. So I'm just kind of squeezing the bony structure and right there is its base and just proximal to that is the obvious tendon. So this is our final insertion point for our muscle here. And again, the actions are going to be in extension and ulnar deviation at the wrist joint. And because similarly, and Conius does extension. There's often a lot of texts that will say this one can aid a little bit in extension at the elbow joint as a minor, minor action. Uh, this muscle is also innervated by the radial nerve.